China's military said today it's ready to fight after completing three days of large-scale war games that simulated the blockade of Taiwan. The island is self-governed, but China claims it has its own. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports the drills were a message to the U.S. Chinese video shows the extent of the exercises, both human and hardware, including for the first time an aircraft carrier, the Shandong, as well as nuclear-capable bombers. Today's live fire drills rehearsed a blockade of Taiwan, and as this Chinese animation shows, strikes against specific targets on the island. In Beijing, the foreign ministry spokesman said the exercises were a serious warning to Taiwan separatists and what he called external forces. That is, the U.S. and its allies. Specifically, their retaliation for the meeting in L.A. between President Tsai Ing-wen, who insists Taiwan will remain independent, and Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who signaled the U.S. would help protect it from China. We will honor our obligations and reiterate our commitment to our shared values behind which all Americans are united. To the Taiwanese taking a break on Taipei's network of cycle trails, the exercises were unpleasant but familiar. Taiwan's Coast Guard released video of sailors warning Chinese warships from a safe distance to back off, but they are seriously outmanned and outgunned, so there was a sigh of relief when the Chinese declared the exercises over this afternoon and headed home. To everyone's relief, this round was just practice, but there is still a potential for war for Taiwan, though at the moment all sides say they want to avoid it. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Taipei.